Okay, so you're a student at Lansing Community College, LCC, and you're wondering about math courses you should take. I want to talk to you about Math 119, which is a four-credit course called Applications for a Living. Oh, I might better call it Math for the Rest of Us. Well, because many students are, well not many, but a lot of students are told they have to take a college algebra course or a pre-calculus course for their program. And some, a few students are told they have to take um, Math 112, which is Intermediate Algebra, or another course. But quite a few of us have a, a choice of courses to take. And if you don't need to go on to more math, uh, Intermediate Algebra doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Uh, math 119 does make sense because it covers a variety of math that you could use in a variety of places. So I want to talk to you about that course a little bit. It is called Applications for Living. Um, it's a what's called a quantitative reasoning course. It's more about thinking and reasoning than it is about learning a lot of procedures. Well, it transfers to schools, some colleges in Michigan, like Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, and Ferris State. Well, if you're going to one of those colleges and transferring, you can use it there. If you're getting uh, an associate's degree at LCC and not transferring, you can use it in a variety of programs here. Within the course, we cover uh, a variety of interesting things. Uh, one of the things we cover is using units and conversions of units in a way that would help you in a science class. So if you've run into problems in a chemistry or uh, physiology class where you have to change units or chemistry, uh, we can help with that. Another part of the class deals with uh, finance and percents. With finance, we, we study more what the letters and variables mean in the formulas and how to calculate with them more than we do in any really complicated procedures. So we'll, we'll learn how to calculate the payment needed for a loan or a payment needed for a savings plan, well, a few other things with finance. Oh, we cover quite a bit of statistics in the course. Well, statistics is where we use um, measurements from samples to try to figure out what's going on. So we'll, we'll learn about means and medians. We'll learn about histograms and bar graphs. Oh, we'll figure out what a good statistical study does. Oh, we'll learn about polls. Oh, standard errors and confidence intervals. So if you hear about surveys where they say it's 62 percent favor something and the margin of error is four percent, uh, we'll explain what that means. We spend some time with other parts of statistics, an area called probability. So if you need to know what the chances of having uh, four children, all of four children are boys, well, we cover that. Or another interesting one in probability is uh, finding the chance of at least one earthquake happening in an area in a period of time. So we do that. We do some things with uh, combinations and permutations. Uh, if you need to figure out how many different ways you could arrange five paintings on a wall where you put up three of them at a time, We'll, we'll cover how to do that. And another part of the course is dealing with uh, linear graphs and models and exponential graphs and models. Now, these are practical and everyday use. Well, exponential, for example, has a lot to do with compound interest. It has a lot to do with population growth. Well, it has to do with uh, inflation cost of living. So all those things are, are very practical, and that's that's why the course is called Applications for a Living, because it's not just procedures that you never get to apply, it's all about the applications. So I'm, I'm hoping you'll consider this class, you know, whether it's me as the instructor or somebody else, I think you'll find it to be useful and quite enjoyable. If you have any questions, feel free to stop in and talk to me. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this.